question. This is for class 9th, but it is going to be helpful for students from class 5th to 9th according to CBSC curriculum. I have taken up the question of December test of 9th class in our school. So I'll be dealing with the vocabulary also, the useful vocabulary that you require while describing a person. As you can see that we need proper words to describe the person. So according to, for example, if I take this picture, so in this picture, this person is having broad shoulders. So you have to write when you are describing his physical appearance, if you write broad shoulders or curly hair, like if you can see in the picture itself. So we need such words to describe the person. And sometimes while writing, we fall short of such words. So therefore, I have brought a vocabulary kit and after that, we'll be solving the question. So let's get started. Here is the vocabulary kit first to describe physical appearance. So there you can take words to describe the face, physique, build. You can pick any words out of this. And it's not necessary that you have to describe all these things. Face, physique, build, and then height, eyes, hair. You can describe two things. You can describe three things. That is of your choice. So you can take words from here. Like if you want to describe eyes maybe. So you can write they were small or they were bulging, protruding or hazel. You can describe the color of the eyes. They were brown or narrow. So like this, you can pick up words. Then if you want to describe the age, mouth or lips, then nose. After describing the physical appearance, then you need to write about the character and personality traits. So for that, these are the words. So pick any. Again, Two or three are more than enough because the word limit is 120 words. So 120 words ki word limit ke liye, two or three points under every category is enough. Every category is according to the acronym that I have, that I'll be discussing. So it's not necessary that when you are giving the description of the physical appearance, you have to include all the things that I've shown in the previous slide, like age, then face, mouth, lips, hair. It's not necessary that you write about each and everything. You can write about just one thing or two things because the word limit is very less. So these are personality traits. Negative as well as positive, I have included both. So you can pick according to your choice and character. Then you can write about the way of talking of the character. If maybe you're character has some peculiar way of talking. So you can describe that. You can write about that. You can write about the habits, again, likes and dislikes of the character. Again, it depends upon you, how you want to describe your character. So this is the question now. So after those vocabulary words, now we come to the question. So you participated in an interstate painting competition held in Mumbai. There you met a participant, Amit Gogoi, from the state of Assam. Describe him in about 100 to 200 words. So this is your character, Amit Gogoi, and Amit Gogoi is not your friend. So you just met Amit Gogoi in a competition, in the painting competition, and now you want to describe him. So this is the acronym. If you have watched my previous videos, then you already know about this acronym. I'll be using this acronym to make my rough points. So tap on her. So here R is a double R. So why it is a double R that I'll be discussing. So one by one, we will be jotting down our rough points. Now from T, we have traits. So here I'll be including personality traits. So now from that list, you can pick any of your choice according to what you want to describe your character as. So koi bhi do, waha se points uthalo. Do ya teen, jaise aapki marzi hai. So like, jaise ki maine uthaya hai, cheerful, bubbly, charming, generous. Then from A, we have appearance. So physical appearance mein apne character ko kis tarah se describe karna jate ho. Like I have chosen, maine socha hai ki Amit Gogoi, he wears spectacles and he is always seen in a peculiar red cap. So hamesha ek red cap pehne rakta hai aur usko spectacles lagi hui hai. Then P is profession. Now profession here means since you are not going to get always a student to describe, you can get a celebrity. So you can get any other person, maybe a scientist, you can get a sports person. 
So there you need to write the profession. So P is for profession and here the profession of the student. So Amit Gogoi is a student, so it is student. So you can write the student and versatile painter because he was there in a painting competition. Then O is others perception about the character, how others feel about the character. So you also come in others because you are also describing that character. So to me, Amit seemed stern and inhospitable. So I have cho chosen these two words. He seemed to be very stern and inhospitable, maybe on first look. So as I looked at Amit Gogoi for first time, this was the feeling stern and inhospitable. So I've chosen these words. So again, it's your choice. Then from N is name. So in case the name is given in the question, as here, the name is already given. So Amit Gogoi. Now from H, H is for habits. So you can choose any habits. Now here I have chosen the habit that he ha wears a red cap. So he is always seen in that red cap. So it is maybe his habit also. So I've kept the same in the habit. Then E is for emotions. So I have chosen that he is a very sensitive boy. Now why is this in yellow that I'll be telling you later. Now R is his role in your life. So role in your life is that how he has had effect on you after meeting that character. Was there any effect on you? So role in your life. So I have written that he inspired me maybe and decided to follow his mantra. And this second R, it is relationship. So well, is there any relationship between the character that you are describing? So here, before describing or before the painting competition, you didn't know Amit Gogoi, but after the painting competition, maybe you became friends. Then any other relevant point other than these points, if you want to write, like I've chosen that he dreams to open his own art academy. So this is my rough work that I have created before writing the paragraph. So now using these points, I'll be writing the paragraph. So ye sare points of the mag me rakke paragraph likhna hai. So let's see how we will frame a paragraph using these points. Amit Gogoi. Sometimes a meeting with a complete stranger grants you a lifetime friend. Amit Gogoi, whom I met at the interstate painting competition held in Mumbai, is a cheerful and bubbly boy from Assam. This was quite contrary to my initial perception about him. Looking over his glasses, he seemed to be stern and inhospitable to me. Amit has a charm of his own. He is a versatile painter and dreams to open his own art academy. Throughout our stay, he wore a peculiar red cap which he never removed. He called it his lucky charm. I noticed that he was too generous at sharing his things with others. He didn't look at anyone as his competitor and shared his ideas for the competition with all. One thing that made me his fan was his mantra to be in competition with himself. I will always cherish this meeting and wish that all his dreams may come true. So this is the paragraph on Amit Gugui. And if you've seen, I have changed the color of all the words that I have taken from the rough draft that I had created. So like this, you can use the points and it will be easier for you to frame the paragraph. Now again, one thing, if we go back here. Now when I write that cheerful, bubbly, charming and generous, I'll be using these words. I do not write that he was a charming personality or he is a very generous boy. So you are not to make sentences like this. You have to show that how you came to know that he was generous or how you came to know about his charming personality. So look, if I take this generous word, how I have used this generous word. I noticed that he was too generous at sharing his things with others. So you are not just writing that he was very generous. You have to show that how you came to know that he was too generous. Now again, this yellow line, this yellow is the opening introductory line 
and the last yellow line that is the concluding line. So like this you have to write the descriptive paragraph based on a person whatever the question comes wo acronym jo hai wo side pe likh lena hai and then you have to jot down points and then make a paragraph now the yellow thing emotions so i have chosen sensitive but i could not use this word sensitive as such in the paragraph so it's not necessary that when you have jotted down the points you have to use all the points so while writing maybe you feel that this point it will not you can say it will not adapt to your paragraph so you make not use that point at all so again when you are writing you have to see that the whole paragraph it reads out to be one single entity it should not look that one line it is not uh, blending into the next line so your whole paragraph it has to blend पूरा का पूरा जो पैराग्राफ है वो ऐसे नहीं लगना चाहिए कि एक लाइन अलग है और दूसरी लाइन फिर कहीं और सिनारी और कोई और पॉइंट एकदम से आ गया जो पिछले पॉइंट से मैच नहीं कर रहा सो आई ऑल्सो फेट कि ये सेंसिटिव वर्ड एज सच फिट नहीं हो रहा है कहीं सो आई लेफ्ट दैट वर्ड सो दिस इज योर चॉइस वॉट एवर वे यू वॉन्ट टू राइट वॉट एवर वे यू वॉन्ट टू चूज योर पॉइंट्स ना दिस इज वन एग्जाम्पल आई हैव अनदर एग्जाम्पल on amit gogoi so acronym is the same but points are different so this time in personality i have chosen amiable and in physical appearance i have taken more points medium height cropped hair oval face charming smile not charming it can be in traits also it can be in appearance also because if he is wearing a charming smile always so you will see that on his face then from profession he is student only then others perception so you are attracted by a smile so now here i have used that in the previous uh, paragraph i have used that you felt that he was stern and inhospitable but here here i am using that at the first look you were attracted by his smile then name remains the same now here i am not choosing anything about his habits now here soft and sensitive these are the two emotions that i have chosen for him now again lasting impression it is role role in your life and then this r is relationship the relationship it it will remain the same you became friends now any other relevant point if you want to write so here i am writing that he dreams to open an ngo now let's see how to frame this paragraph so now In a recent interstate painting competition I met Amit Gogoi a boy of medium height from Assam His cropped hair beautifully balanced his oval face I was attracted by his charming smile and amiable nature During the competition I sat next to him and got a chance to dig deep into this amazing boy His soft heart and sensitive disposition was revealed to me when I saw his painting portraying child labor with a smile that always adorned his face he introduced himself to me and we started talking like old friends he expressed his desire to open an ngo for the poor and unfortunate children though we were together just for two days he had left a lasting impression on me so this is the paragraph using the rough draft that you had created now here again you can see the pink line in a recent interstate painting competition i met so you can just begin with this line also it's not necessary to introduce with a different line because the word limited is just 100 to 120 words so straight away you can begin like this then the physical appearance that i have included medium height that cropped hair beautifully balanced his oval face then i was attracted by his charming smile and amiable nature so amiable nature his personality has also come in so during the uh, competition i sat next to him and got a chance to dig deep into his this amazing boy his soft heart and sensitive disposition so here again soft heart and sensitive disposition these emotions i have used straight away again i am not writing that he was very sensitive or he had a soft heart don't write like this you have to show that how you came to know about these personality traits of that boy so 
The sensitivity and the soft heart it was revealed to me when I saw his painting portraying child labor. So, जब वो painting बना रहा था, तो painting इतनी sensitive थी. He uh, drew a painting about child labor. So that painting was so sensitive that you were touched to see that, and you realized that he had had such a soft heart. Now, with a smile that always adorned his face. So again, I am not writing that he. always had a smiling face so i am writing that with a smile that always adorned his face he introduced himself to me and we started talking like old friends so this shows that he was so warm he expressed his desire to open an ngo now again to open an ngo and the sensitive things they are connecting because he was so soft at heart he was so sensitive that he had a dream to help the unfortunate children So an NGO for the poor and unfortunate children. Though we were together just for two days, he had left a lasting impression on me. So this becomes my concluding line. So this is how you can write a descriptive paragraph on a person, any question that comes. So using this acronym, you can do that. So that's all for today. These are the image credits. Now you can watch the previous videos on descriptive paragraphs. One is on tips and tricks. Next is on my neighbor. Then. the postman ms dhoni and this is the fifth one now on amit gogoi links they are there in the description box uh, sorry the spellings here they are wrong so description box links are there you can check the playlist also for the chapters and for the poems also i have started with grammar revision so you can check the grammar use of articles so there are 20 sentences based on articles so you can revise these for your exams and next i'll be bringing determiners practice of determiners some any then little and few and much and uh, many so we'll be doing this and all the best for your exams i hope that all of you score well bye for now